Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. Hi, I'm Martine LaDuke. We're at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve, and this is All About Water. So, in this video series, we are going to check different bodies of water around Boyd Hill, and we are going to predict if the oxygen level will be high or low in those bodies of water. We have to remember what we learned last time. To increase the oxygen level, the plants underwater need to be able to get sunlight so they can create photosynthesis. And the higher the water temperature, the less dissolved oxygen it's able to hold. Lots of waves and movement of the water will increase the oxygen level. But if there's a lot of dead, decaying plants and animals in the water, that's gonna decrease the oxygen level, make it go lower. And chemicals running into the water, like fertilizer, can also de decrease the oxygen level. So let's make some observations and make our prediction on the oxygen level of this area. I noticed there are a lot of plants growing on the surface of the water. The tiny little ones are called duckweed. Uh, the bigger ones are water lettuce. This is an exotic plant that can cover the surface. And if all these plants cover the surface of the water, then the plants underneath can't get sunlight and create photosynthesis to increase the oxygen level. I don't see a lot of movement on the water and there's some dead decaying leaves and sticks, but it doesn't seem like more than normal. The sun hasn't been out this morning. It's pretty cloudy and it's still early in the morning. So the oxygen level will increase later on in the day. I'd like you to make a prediction right now and decide if you think the oxygen level of this body of water will be high or low or right in the middle. And then we'll do our oxygen test and find out. Okay, we're gonna start by taking our water sample. Okay, so now that we've taken our water samples, we wanna take the temperature right away. And we're going to take that in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. We wanna do Celsius because we're doing science. And we also need to take our oxygen level immediately. So we have some duckweed floating on the top of our water sample here, which is a native plant. While I'm adding the two tablets, let's check the temperature. It's 28.4 in Celsius, which is 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So last night we had two inches of rainfall. Uh, I checked the rain gauge up at the building and that usually cools off the water temperature a little bit. So we have to remember that the cooler the water, the more oxygen it can hold. Okay, we put the two tablets in. We're gonna screw on the lid. And we're gonna invert this for four minutes. All right, it's been four minutes and it looks like our tablets are dissolved. So now we're going to let this sit for five more minutes before we check the color. Okay, it's been five minutes, so now we're gonna check the color of our water with our dissolved oxygen chart. All right, on our chart, clear is zero parts per million of dissolved oxygen in the water. Peach color is four parts per million, and then more of an orange is eight parts per million. Remember, about five or higher is a healthy level. And if we compare the color of the water, it's not clear, it's not quite up to four either. Is it at, at about a three parts per million? So the oxygen level here is actually low. Let's look back at our water and see why we think the oxygen level is so low. Well, first of all, it's morning still. And one thing that increases the dissolved oxygen level is photosynthesis of the plants underwater. So we haven't had a lot of sunlight this morning. It's been pretty cloudy and it's still early. So the dissolved oxygen level is lower in the morning than in the afternoon. The other thing is all the duckweed on the top of the water, along with the, these are exotic water lettuce plants. They are blocking the sunlight from getting underwater to the plants underneath. I also don't see a lot of movement in the water. It's pretty stagnant, so there aren't any waves creating oxygen. Um, the oxygen from the atmosphere can't really get into the water very well either because of all the plants on top. So if you predicted that the oxygen level was going to be low, you were right. Um, I'm Martine LaDuke, 
And this video has been brought to you by the Pinellas County School System along with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I'll see you next time.